for everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. There's a time to be born and there's a time to die. As we walk among the remains and the final resting place of those who have gone before us, there are many emotions that might linger inside of us. Some of it is pain, some of it's loneliness from missing lost loved ones, some of it's fear, the fear of dying and the fear of not knowing at all. But what is death? One definition states that death is the absence of life. As we look around here at all the graves of the people who have gone before us, we come to the realization that these people have actually had real lives. They knew what it was like to laugh, they knew what it was like to cry. They experienced triumph. They suffered defeat. They knew what it was like to be tired and they knew what it was like to run. These people knew what it was like to have a life and now these people are now absent of that life. Some and probably all took the life that they had for granted, but you never know any of this by just looking at their tombstone. A dash represents their whole life. The first time they walked, the first time they talked, the first time they went to school, their memories of being a child, the adventures of being a teenager, their mountaintops, their valleys, but most important, it represents their legacy. So let's think outside the box here. What if you had an out-of-body experience? and you died and you came across your own grave. As you begin to stare, you begin to recall the events of your life. You smile with the thoughts of the times with friends and family. A little upset that it's over. The shame that accompanies a regret. The thought that passes through your mind. What did I live for? What did I represent? Was my life worth living? Did I fulfill my purpose? But most importantly, did I completely live for Jesus? Was he represented in my every move? Did I take him everywhere I went, or did I just leave him at church? If I had to do it all over again, would I do it all the same? In the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 24 through 25 says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? You would know at that point whether your, whether your life was lost or found. You would know if you lived for yourself or did you take your cross and follow Jesus. Don't exchange something meaningless for your soul. Don't lose your life trying to find it. No man knows what it's like to truly live unless he lives for Jesus. Because he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life.